It's not getting any bigger, but this neighborhood's problems are just beginning. The sinkhole that ripped apart homes in Lando Lakes is the largest in decades. Getting back to normal is not going to be easy. Thanks for joining us on Nightside. I'm Carolina Lead. And I'm Katie McCall. Like you, we've had a lot of questions about this sinkhole. When can people return to the five evacuated homes? When can they rebuild? Who's going to pay for what? As things unfold, all these questions will eventually have answers. But tonight, Nightside reporter Bo Zimmer learned how laws have changed and why doing your homework when buying a home is more important than ever. The fear of living in a sinkhole home is very real. Amy Boggs is an attorney specializing in representing policyholders dealing with disaster. My phone lights up with, with my clients saying, hey, this could happen to me. How can I protect myself against this? The answer can be tricky, especially with changes to Florida law impacting coverage. Homeowners now required to show structural damage before insurance kicks in. I liken this to a situation where dental insurance says we're not going to pay for a cavity. We're going to wait till you have need a root canal to fix the problem. That leaves many homeowners left ignoring possible issues under their home due to the high cost of repair. We have homeowners who are living on active sinkhole conditions and because the damage to their home hasn't yet risen to this engineering level of structural damage, they have no coverage. And Bog says that could potentially spell legal action, especially if the problem grows, swallowing up your neighbor's home. If you're the homeowner who originally didn't do the repair, you could face liability. 10 investigates tracked down engineering reports from back in 2012 showing confirmed sinkhole activity under the home that collapsed Friday. An engineer back then recommended subsurface grouting to fill in voids and stabilize the ground. The homeowner instead took the recommendation of a second engineer calling for a less expensive repair called underpinning, stabilizing just the home structure. But Bog says it appears a final report was never filed as required by Florida. Florida law. If a carrier pays money for a sinkhole loss, they have to file the sinkhole report in the public records. What has been filed in the public records here is not the full sinkhole report. And for those of you thinking about buying a home where sinkhole activity was previously discovered, Bog says it's up to buyers to do their homework. Start looking for everything. I want the original report and pick up the phone. Call. Living near the sinkhole will know by tomorrow afternoon whether their water is safe to drink. That's another question a lot of you have been asking. So the county is collecting samples from 20 homes in this neighborhood. They aren't sure which direction water under the sinkhole is moving. So to be safe, they're working on testing homes in a circle around the home hole. If any of the tests come back positive, they will widen that circle to see how far that contamination has spread.